some of these amazing uh, properties that, um, that are under our care. Um, I do want to thank the Marietta staff for hosting us today. Um, and just to give you a note, <laughs> I was built on his remarks that I just stole. He'll thank the Marietta team again because it's part of the joke. Um, so just to give you, I'm the MC, so just to give you a little um, understanding of today's um, activities, we will have the award ceremony followed by a light lunch and then the tour, which I really um, would encourage you to take. Um, it has been totally revamped and revisioned under Dr. Julie Rose's um, leadership and so I really hope that you take a few minutes to take that tour. So without further ado, it is my honor to uh, introduce uh, Peter Shapiro, the chair of the MNC PPC and Prince George's County Planning Board. Peter. Thanks for the introduction, Chris. Uh, it is my honor uh, a cemetery and original law office building, uh, 25 acres of lawn and wooded area. This was uh, the home of the U.S. Supreme Court Associate Justice Gabriel Duvall. Uh, prior to his appointment, to, this is the history lesson you're getting from, from me briefly. Uh, prior to his appointment to the U.S. Supreme Court by President James Madison, Justice Duvall served in several positions during the Revolutionary War uh, and served in the Maryland House of Delegates, the United States Congress, the Maryland Supreme Court, and as Comptroller of the U.S. Treasury under President Thomas Jefferson. He was a busy man. Operated by the Commission, the Marietta House Museum is just one of the numerous landmarks with programs developed to bring Prince George's County's dynamic history to vibrant life. Um, the Marietta House is on the National Register of Historic Places, the National Underground Railroad Network to Freedom, a Maryland Historical Trust easement property and a Prince George's County historic site. And visitors, which we will do shortly, uh, can walk the grounds, tour the plantation buildings and sites where free and enslaved people lived and labored. Uh, we thank you for joining us today as we recognize the Department of Parks and Recreation, Prince George's County's commitment to historic preservation uh and the great work and passion and dedication of the historic preservation unit i'm bill's going to do it and i'm going to do it again a round of applause for one of our <laughs> truly amazing work there's a few uh, special guests i want to recognize uh briefly we have our senator the honorable malcolm augustine who's going to be speaking to us uh in just a bit uh, good to have you here I don't think uh, Ms. Tolles is here uh, now. I don't see her. Uh, we have, is uh, uh, Delegate Woods here? No? Um, and we may have a representative from the office of Senator Rosa Pep. I'm not sure if we do or not. No, okay. It's, uh, it's election day, folks. Uh, and that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Uh, we also have uh, Mr. John Peter Thompson, Chair of Prince George's County Historic Preservation Commission. Great to have you here. And from our Department of Parks and Recreation, uh, you'll hear from our Director Bill Tyler. We also have Steve Carter, our Deputy Director Alvin McNeil, Juan Ramos, two other Director Directors, uh, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful leadership team. They're all sitting right there. We're also joined by Don Jordan. Dr. Jordan, uh, the Dean of the University of Maryland School of Architecture, Planning, and Preservation. Uh, I believe Susan Kern is here, Dr. Kern, yes. Uh, Director, Associate Professor of Historic Preservation Program at the University of Maryland. Is Dennis, po Dennis Pogue here? Yes. Uh, former Director of Preservation in Mount Vernon, former Director of Historic Preservation Program, University of Maryland. Uh, and is Mike Moore here? Yes, Mr. Moore, Vice Chair of Maryland Veterans Commission, uh, Maryland Department of Veterans Affairs, and Commander Greenwell Post 136 American Legion. Uh, May is, oh, Delegate Woods is here. I still have something to say too. Okay. We'll bring you up in a sec, thank you. Uh, May is Preservation Month, and today we celebrate our team's stellar work, the agency's commitment and major investment in 
preservation, major investment in preservation, interpretation, and renovation efforts here at Marietta House, Darnell's Chance House Museum, and all the facilities across the, this county. As stewards of Prince George's County's historical resources, I am proud to share that over the past five years, the Commission has invested more than $25 million in restoration efforts. And these are both large and small uh, to a number of properties throughout the county. And without our expert staff and research findings and restoration efforts, the Commission uh, uh, remains committed to telling the stories that include all the past residents of Prince George's County. And what we've seen more and more, what we are more and more focused on is the incredible work that's going on on the over of often overlooked enslaved communities and the interpretation that is focused on that. I'm so, so proud of the team's efforts in this regard. So thank you again for all that work. Um, for inclusive interpretation and walking tours and special events, we provide opportunities to incorporate narratives that include the experiences, struggles, and traditions and contributions of, of enslaved predecessors. And historic preservation serves as a tangible link to our past, embodying the cultural identity and heritage of our community, architectural landmarks, whether grand monuments or humble structures, tell the story of our collective history, reflecting the values, traditions, and craftsmanship of bygone eras. It is our responsibility to preserve our rich history, and we understand that our efforts will not only impact our current residents, but future generations to come. So I want to thank you all for the time and, and get a little bit of my history lesson. And at this time, I want to introduce our next speaker. Uh, 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 so we're going to go directly to Bill. OK, we'll hear from you all in a bit. Uh, this time, I want to introduce our next speaker. Please help me in welcoming uh, the director of the Department of Parks and Recreation, Bill Tomer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And good morning to you all. How are you? Good. I am Bill Tyler, as was just said, and I am the proud director of Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission Department of Parks and Recreation. You all did get that proud part, didn't you? Um, it is a pleasure to have you all here with us today as we recognize the great work, passion, and dedication of the Parks and Recreation Historic Preservation Unit. A round of applause for them, please. The Department of Parks and Recreation is a steward of nearly 50 historic properties that span three centuries of Maryland's built and cultural heritage. Among them are 14 sites that are listed on the National Register of Historic Landmarks. In fact, the department is the steward for one of the most significant concentrations of historic assets in the country. And we take the stewardship of our historic sites very seriously. We understand that it is our responsibility, responsibility, and I'll say that again, our responsibility to leave a lasting historical and cultural legacy worth, worthy of, fruit of future generations. The Historic Preservation Unit, the team receiving the award today, is responsible for the successful completion of dozens of important projects each year, demonstrating the highest level of restoration and craftsmanship including support from our tradesmen who bring their skill, talent, talents, and expertise to ensure we accurately represent each period. This is significant because his, historic preservation serves as a tangible link to our past embodying the cultural identity and the heritage of this county. And as you've heard our Chairman Shapiro mention, our staff not only preserve and protect the physical structures, they also make great efforts to interpret and relay the inclusive stories that reflect the full history of this community that are tied to the facilities. These efforts are reflected in the new Sankofa Mobile Museum. I wish that it was here today. A notable program such as Echoes of the Enslaved and there is so, so much more. I'm sure we'll hear more wonderful things about the great work they've done, they are doing. However, with the time I have left, I would like to recognize a small but mighty team, as was mentioned earlier. Ed Day. Yes. Chief of <laughs> Staff, Ed, 
my bike riding buddy as well. <laughs> Gina Vaughn, historic preservation <laughs> Brian Carroll, Historic Asset and Project Coordinator. <laughs> Kevin Williams, Senior Carpenter. <laughs> and under the leadership of Christine Fanning, <laughs> Chief of the Natural and Historic Resources Division, and Steve Carter, Deputy Director of Valerie Mitchell Report. And I also want to thank the Marietta House Museum, Julie Rose, and Stacy Hawkins. Thank you all for coming and enjoy the rest of the day. <coughs> Okay, well, we have two um, speakers that we'd like to bring up. Uh, Delegate Woods, thank you so much for coming, and I think you have something to share. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Please forgive me for my tardiness. This is my third function this morning. <laughs> So we, 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 you know, I tell people they bamboozled me in Annapolis. I thought when they said, you know, we have a 90-day session, it was like, I work 90 days, and then I guess nine months to rest. That was a joke. I went from working five days a week, Sunday to Augustine, to seven days a week in the community. But I am so honored to have this opportunity to be with you all today for this wonderful celebration of preservation that is so important to our history, it's so important to our reality, it's so important to understand how far we've come, but even how much further we have to go, right? But we do celebrate preservation, and so I am honored uh, today, and I don't know who wants to receive this citation to prevent, present this citation from the Maryland General Assembly. Somebody want to come and join me? I mean, they can just take pictures of me and say, look at that, did you see that beautiful <laughs> delegate that came? I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't feel bad. I wore deodorant and put cologne on. But y'all don't have to stand next to me. It's okay. <laughs> I, somebody told me if you don't have a sense of humor, you don't have any sense at all. And how many of you know in the times that we're living in right now, we need to find reasons to laugh the same way we find these wonderful reasons to celebrate. And so I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Maryland General Assembly to present this official citation. It says, be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to the Historic Preservation Unit, the Natural and Historic Resources Division of the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission, the Park, Department of Parks and Recognition, in recognition of your outstanding stewardship, preserving heritage at museums, historic houses, mills, and cultural landscapes. We're here today in celebration of your exceptional achievements and recent preservation efforts at Darnell's Chance Museum, presented on this 14th day of May, 2024, by yours truly, State Delegate Jamila J. Williams. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, it's very nice. Thank you so much. This is indeed a special day. Well, now one of our really greatest champions and advocates for um, our division, our department, our commission, um, and history in particular. I just want to introduce Senator Malcolm Augustine. Thank you, first Amy. And I appreciate those kind words from her. I, I was, I would say, oh, thank you, Delegate. I, I got her into some of this trouble. We worked yes, together. <laughs> I'm grateful for her too. Uh, I really am very, I'm going to start by saying that I, most of the times I'm fussing at these folks. So for those who are not like kind of, who are not, you know, from here or whatever, we do complain a little bit. I thank you for the award. And, and you know, but you all are world class. Yes. And I just got to just say, you know, I, I just remember your predecessor, Chair Hewlett, I think she said we received the National Award was six times or something like that for the work that, that is done here. We are absolutely world class. And I'm just so, so very, very proud of who we are. And I'm just really very pleased to have been able to um, play a small part 
in this award. So I did receive, uh, um, you know, a, a request from someone who I work very closely with, Ed Day. Uh, he, you know, let's give Ed another round of applause. He, he was like, you know, Malcolm, he doesn't do that. He calls me Senator Augustine, but he should call me Malcolm. <laughs> but he's, he's, a, he's a former guy. He is, he is. But, you know, he was like, listen, you know, we worked so hard and so diligently on the Peace Cross together, which we did. Um, and we just, you know, we, we, think, we think we're deserving of a little bit of recognition. I said, yeah, absolutely you are. Absolutely you are. The work that this unit does, and I'm just so very proud of them, uh, from the smallest window at Snow Hill Manor to the extensive restoration that was done at the Peace Cross is absolutely um, worthy of praise. And I just am so grateful for the work that this entire team does, um, the work led by Christine and of course Chair Shapiro. Um, thank you, uh, I'm really, really very proud of this day, um, and I'm really looking forward to the award that they are going to receive. So thank you so very much. And this is the truth. I'm not good, you know, with uh, the public affairs side of things, but Senator uh, Augustine shows up. I, you know, I know him by first name because he shows up, whether it's Blainsburg Waterfront Park or the Sankofa Mo Museum or Peace Cross, you're here today. You, uh, you show up, so thank you for everything you do. Um, all right, well now I think we have reached the time um, for me to introduce um, Director Elizabeth Hughes. She's the Director of the Maryland Historic Trust and the reason we're all here today. So Director Hughes. Thank you, and thank you all for coming out today. Uh, we're at a beautiful site here. Um, as she said, my name's Elizabeth Hughes. I'm the director of the Maryland Historical Trust. I serve as Maryland State Historic Preservation Officer, and I'm here today to present the 2024 Maryland Preservation Award for Outstanding Stewardship by a Government Agency to the Historic Preservation Unit, a part of the Natural and Historic Resources Division of the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission, Department of Parks and Recreation, Prince <laughs> George's <laughs> County. Well <done. laughs> the nonetheless, I mean, I think that shows sort of the impressive nature of getting things done, right? When you're, you're embedded in local government or in state government, so all the more uh, remarkable. So thank you all for being here. While Senator Rosa Papp and delegates uh, Barnes, Mary Lehman, Joseline, Penny Melnick, and Karen Tolls could not be here today, they did send along citations and their congratulations and we'll be presenting them uh, subsequently. So since 1975, the MHT Board of Trustees has honored the outstanding preservation efforts of individuals, businesses, nonprofit organizations, local governments and others who protect, steward, and share the historic places and cultural heritage that make Maryland unique. Something that the Historic Preservation Unit embodies with its work preserving historic and cultural heritage across the county. We're happy to be joined today by one of MHT's board members and former MNCPPC Chairman, Sam Parker. So thank you, Sam, for coming out. As we've heard, the Historic Preservation Unit manages, documents, preserves, and protects a vast collection of sites across Prince George's County, including 14 sites that are listed in the National Register of Historic Places and two which have been designated as National Historic Landmarks, which is the highest honorific uh, in the nation. They've been able to accomplish their high standard of restoration work thanks to a capital improvement program allotment that I think is the only one of its kind in the state and is impressive in terms of the investment we've seen from the county and the hard work of the unit's team. Over the last year, work has specifically focused on Darnell's Chance House Museum, a National Register site, and the Marietta House Museum, where we are today. And I hope you'll all get have time to go inside and, and look at the great work that's been done. And Tom showed me proudly the door, uh, the wonderfully grained door uh, on the building, which is impressive. Listed in the National Register, the Marietta House Museum, it is also included significantly as a site on the National Underground Railroad Network to Freedom. 
Work done here at the Federal Era Marietta House Museum includes the completion of archaeological investigations to research the original front porch, as well as the completion of the second phase of window restoration to complete the refurbishment, repair, and painting of the building's windows and exterior doors. The unit's work is not limited to the meticulous preservation of the 40-some historic sites in its portfolio, but also looks to impact future preservationists by developing hands-on training partnerships with local colleges. For example, students from the University of Maryland's Historic Preservation Program have on many occasions used Prince George's sites as living classrooms, where students are able to research and document buildings and witness restoration and process. And I think having the Dean of the School of Architecture here, and Director Kern from the Historic Preservation Program, really is evidence of that great partnership that's been established. Careful, thoughtful preservation work maintains an authentic and intact record of our shared past which benefits future generations, which is why on behalf of the Maryland Historical Trust, I'm pleased to present this outstanding stewardship by a government agency award to Peter Shapiro, MNC PPC Chairman, and Edward Day, Chief Historic Preservation Officer for the Historic Preservation Unit. Congratulations, and thank you for all that you do to protect and enhance Prince George's County's historic sites. From the of the We have a couple other citations we're going to present, but don't go anywhere. And Sam Parker is going to help me with these. So Sam, I'm going to give you the microphone. Sam Parker. <laughs> District 21. Merlin General Assembly official citation. Be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratu congratulations are offered to the Historic Preservation Unit, Natural and Historic Resources Division of the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission, Department of Parks and Recreation, Prince George's County, in recognition of the Maryland Preservation Award for Outstanding Stewardship by a government agency with dozens of projects yearly they preserve heritage at museums, historic houses, mills, and cultural landscapes. Presented this day, May 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Delegate Tolls of uh, District 25. Official citation, be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratu congratulations are offered to the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission Historic Preservation Unit, Prince George's County, in recognition of our 2024 Maryland Preservation Award for Outstanding Stewardship by a government agency, you are applauded for your exemplary de dedication and unwavering commitment to preserving Maryland's rich history. MNC PPC, you are simply extraordinary. <laughs> Presented this 14th day of May 2024. <laughs> While my team is coming up here, because I'm gonna I do this not alone in a vacuum, I do it with my team. I want to let John Peter Thompson, the chairman of the Prince George's Historic Preservation Commission talk real quick. Because I don't want to melt, it's starting to rain. You're kidding really quick. Oh my goodness, for anybody that knows me, do I want to go to the podium? Oh, well, that's going to take some time. Uh, my eyes have gone blind in service to my county. <laughs> The Historic Preservation Commission of Prince George's County works with over 485 sites <clears throat> and four historic districts, working to make structures, buildings, and places 
livable, usable, and alive so that they can tell their stories to future generations. And as you've heard, a major partner in this is the Parks Department. And within that, the Historic Preservation Unit that works continuously, it works constantly to fuse maintenance, repairs, and restoration into a seamless operation. This unit understands that the single biggest cost is doing nothing. That's where the cost is. It also understands that doing the right thing at the wrong time with the wrong materials also leads to buildings that can't be used. And preservation is about using buildings. And the Historic Preservation Unit shows us every day at the Commission that they want the buildings to live. We therefore, the Historic Preservation Commission, applaud and congratulate you on the recognition that you are getting through these awards today. Thank you. Oh, I have a last thing. Keep tilting at the windmills of inaction. <laughs> Thank you, John Peter. Thank you, Tim. We'll go quickly because it's starting to rain again. I don't want to melt. Um, if you were invited today, you're invited for a reason. You play a part in all of this success. You don't think of yourselves as potential historic preservationists, but you are. And I could point to each one of you and tell, talk to your role, from politicians to our executive team, all the way down to uh, that, the help that we receive on the surface from people at the sites and, and support staff. So thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause for being preservationists. Delegate Woods, am I keeping up with your, your spiel? I can't, it's hard to follow somebody like that. I want to know where you're speaking again, by the way, because I'm going. I want to thank Brian Carroll, Gina Vaughn, Kevin Williams. We work tirelessly. We're passionate. We use our skill. We use our training. We feel so blessed to be able to do what we do. It, it, it's, it's absolutely humbling. Um, the small but stite, uh, mighty staff you've heard about before, we organize and manage multiple projects all the time, providing technical support. And, and we're just happy to do what we do. Um, I would say that uh, the county really benefits from our work. These places are very special. They can come, people can come and visit, learn the history, have a function, and it creates memories. And we think that's really, really important. We run around sometimes like chickens with our heads cut off because as the rain reminds you, it doesn't wait for good weather to attack these structures, right? So we have to get on. Um, but we, they serve the community's public-owned areas of great natural and architectural beauty. Many of the sites occupy treasure places in the hearts of county residents as they are venues to mark significant occasions in their personal community lives. Our privilege is to respectfully and with great care steward the resources entrusted to us. We hope that we have honored the trust placed in us. So thank you so much. Really good question. And I think that's it. It's time to eat. Look, it's not raining too bad yet, so thank you for coming. Really appreciate it. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you.